Hello everyone, welcome back to the next episode of Waifu Wars. I am the backshot Hashira, Juby Doo. And I'm here to put the blue in your archive, Sober Oni. And welcome back to the Waifu Wars podcast where we talk about all things anime, the good, the bad, and the weeb, but not your waifu, because she is trash. How you doing, Oni? I'm doing good. Happy Easter, Drew. How oh, you doing? yeah. Happy Easter, everybody. Um, I'm doing good. Um, damn, I was like, damn, this this CBD edible is hitting a, a lot sooner than I thought it was. Oh, oh, okay. Horns, okay. <laughs> oh, hope they're okay. But um, yeah. For those who don't know, this is the Spring 2024 preview. And how it works is that we're going to be reading through a brief synopsis of each anime that's airing this season via anychart.net. We're going to be alternating between me and Oni. And as we read, we're going to be deciding on whether or not we want to cover the anime for this season. Eventually, when we're done reading through everything, we will come up with a comprehensive list of six anime for us to watch. And the last one being Patreon's choice yes so if you're a patron or a sub uh from twitch you get to choose which show we cover for our seventh slot that poll will be up later in the week oh my god we explained that so flawlessly love that yeah we were so succinct i think that's like the first time we didn't have any kind of hiccups like boom 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 i feel like it's not the second time get it by episode 100 (laughs) no i think it's like that's like like the second time maybe second or third (laughs) <laughs> I'm gonna miss a little bit of credit. By, ep- by episode 400, we're gonna be pro. Oh, pro- promise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yes, yeah, so without any further ado, because no shade, I kind of want to get the fuck out of here. Um, because it's just so much reading, y'all. But <laughs> it's a lot. There's so many shows airing this season. So many. So without any further ado, I think I'm just gonna start off. Start mm-hmm. and yeah, we'll start us off with uh one room. Wait. Nope. Alphabetical title. That's what it should be on. Oh, why is it on score? Because all the other... The, everything else was in um al- alphabetical order except that one. And I was just like... I said I said one. I said, wait a minute. <laughs> this starts with an L. Oh, <laughs> interesting. As I was saying, <clears throat> up first is Astronaut by Telecom Animation Films. Takumi, a gifted chef, was just let go from his job. He lands a gig at an old boarding house mm-hmm. called Astroso, but he... I'm sorry about that. But he... Um, or But hesitates to accept after learning he must also live there full time. That is until he meets the beautiful and charming caretaker, Mira, and he is sold. The two begin to work together, and their connection deepens. Amira has a secret. She isn't from this world. I feel like this is the premise to so many shows. As so many anime I've seen, it's like, oh, I'm a working at a boarding house, or I'm living at a boarding house, and I'm in love with my landlord, landlady. And then she's an alien? Well, that part is different. <laughs> That's the general premise. Right, I was like, there's not too many alien anime. Hmm. <laughs> This, the, this feels like a very 90s premise, though. This feels very early 2000s. And, yeah, the art 90s. style looks yeah. like, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this is from, like, an adaptation of an older work or something. Yeah, it feels like that, for sure. It looks cute, though. Mm. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Is the astronaut, is the whole astro thing, is the Astro Boy reference? No, probably not, because they didn't do aliens. Uh, no, I just think the astro refers to her being from space. Yeah. Yeah. Don't know what the note refers to, but you know, well worth it. <laughs> you have to watch the whole series to find that out. Which we will not be doing. No. Next up, we have Bartender Kami no Glass by Lieber. This brilliant bartender can uplift any troubled soul with a glass of God. <laughs> I'm like, excuse me? Well, that is just the right amount of synopsis to captivate me. Right. Like, <laughs> like what do you mean a glass of God? Yeah, like, is it, is God in the back and he just, like, sweats in the cups? Is there something magical about it, or are you just a bartender? (laughs) 
Do you call it the glass of God? Is that like what it's called on the menu? I just, I'm like, I don't know. I I'll watch it to find out. Yeah. Just not on the podcast. Yes, we won't. It's looking, it's looking very much like he's just a bartender, though. Yeah. Which, I don't know. I feel like bartender anime, are they even good? I feel like I've seen a c- couple be released, but no one's ever been no, like, wait. no one's ever been like, whoa, this bartender. I think there's like one good one. Oh, okay. Well, I, you let me know what it is. I will let you know once I find it. Right. I, will I watch <laughs> it? Mm, that's still a maybe. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Up next, we have Blue, Blue Archive, the animation <laughs> by Yostar Pictures and Studio Candy Box. Come on. Come on, Candy Box. Um, <clears throat> the anime will adapt the countermeasures committee arc. The city's academies are divided into their own districts and are considered mostly independent. The general student council acts as a governing board to manage the academies as a whole. However, the group's ability to govern has come to a halt since the mysterious disappearance of the general student council president. Countless issues have begun to surface throughout Kivotos in the absence of the president's leadership. To avoid disaster, the General Student Council requests assistance from the Federal Investigation Club, otherwise known as Shale. I don't know how to say that. In fact, Shale is the city's... <laughs> I feel like I'm definitely saying it wrong. Cause I, you know, it's funny, I've never heard it pronounced that way, but that sounds way more right than what I was calling it in my head this whole time. What were you calling it? Scaly? Shale. Shale. That sounds... That also sounds legit. What did I call it? Shale. Shale sounds fancy, though. Yeah, it does. But the emphasis... But the emphasis isn't on the E, so I feel like you're actually right. Mm. But I guess for you, I'll just keep calling it Shale. Shale is... (laughs) That is definitely, like, some uh, ghetto girl's name. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) That's, like, why it sounds a little little hood. (laughs) Uh, Shale is the city's newest club and the last to be approved before the president's disappearance. To accomplish its tasks, Shale relies on the guidance of a sensei who can help them resolve the incidents in Kivotos. Uh, students are required to carry personal weapons and smartphones, get a taste of the military action, love, and friendship in the, the Academy City has to offer. Yay! So all that to say, this is an adaptation of the first arc of Blue Archive, mm-hmm. which, uh, is probably one of the most anticipated adaptations I've seen for a gacha game. Yeah. Not named Fate. Yeah. Um, the question becomes, is this a lock or maybe? It's a no. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> it's a maybe turning to a high, most likely. Yeah, so that's fair. Because if I were to fight for anything this season, it would be the show. All right. Um, next up, we have a Boku no Hero Academia, season seven by Bones. It is the seventh. God damn, there's so many seasons. Seventh season of Boku no Hero Academia. You don't know what Boku no Hero Academia is by now. You need to. Get up under that rock. Yeah, even though it does start in the middle of the season, I still want to watch it. Like, it's season seven. Wait, did we drop drop season six? We dropped season six. Like, half of it. Right. But the the second half was so good. That's why I feel bad. (laughs) (laughs) It wasn't bad. It was good. I enjoyed the the actual second half. They waited for me to stop caring for it to be like, all right, Oni's not watching? Quick, make it good again. No, it was good when we were watching it. Come on. Mm. <laughs> don't, don't, whoa, what are you talking about? That was one of the most hype. It, it, had, it, was, it was on its downswing. It, it has ups and downs. Yeah, well, yes. It can't have hype for like 100 episodes straight. Yes, they need a Excuse lull. You talk, it's called Attack on Titan. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I would want to watch. I, I guess this is the one I would fight for. So we can put it as a maybe. I mean, it's not like I have a lot to catch up on. I only have, like, half. Yeah, exactly. And you're just going to... Well, I won't spoil it. Mm -hmm. All right. Up next, you have Bokyaku Battery TV by MAPPA. Uh, Iron Iron Armed Pitcher Haruka Kiyome and the Shrewd Catcher Ken Kaname, a.k.a. the, the Skilled General, were considered to be 
an unrivaled monstrous ba- battery duo in the middle school baseball world. Oh, that's not. They both were charged with battery. As <laughs> <laughs> they're just being people up. <laughs> we're the battery duo. <laughs> they were they they beat them with batteries, socks full of batteries. <laughs> Um, they were both scouted by various powerhouse high schools across the nation, but somehow they both ended up at Tokyo Municipal Kotesa- Kotesashi High School, which wasn't known for baseball at all. On top of that, other star players who had lost to that duo in the past and completely strayed from bas- b- basketball, from baseball, coincidentally also enrolled at that school and their meeting sets everything into motion once again their high school baseball story begins now i've never been a fan of baseball i don't like most sports things like if it's not free or you're on ice i don't give a fuck respectfully so past yeah although there is one upcoming anime that i will fight for that is sports related speaking of which which is not this season it's like two seasons from now but you'll know when we get to it Mm. Next up, we have Data Live, and if you know what show I'm talking about, leave it in the comments. Data Live <laughs> Season 5 by Geek Toys, the fifth season of Data Live. Yeah, um, first of all, you're reading the next one, too, because you just get, you literally just <laughs> have not done any reading. That's I know, one. I was just thinking that. That's number one. And then number two, um, <laughs> meanwhile, all of mine have been, like, essays. Um... So yeah, I well, I feel like we're, well, I don't know how. When did you stop? Have you? Are you like? Are you caught up on this? I stopped at season three. I stopped on episode two. <laughs> yeah, so let's know. Yeah, it's 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 giving no. I don't know. I feel like they live. I like oh, it's funny, but I like it. It's just it's outlived its welcome for me. Like it's a funny, good. I have a feeling I would love the light novels more. But. It's just not for me right now. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd rather... Like, I stopped watching it immediately, and not I was like, season. I want Bungo Stray Dogs. If this was a slower... Like, if this aired last season, I'd probably fight for it. And I'd say no, because I'm not watching a million... <laughs> like, that, that'd be a no. You could fight and lose every time. Absolutely not. <laughs> Either way. Yeah, it's a no. So I guess I'm reading the next mm-hmm, one. Sure which are. Which is... <laughs> you just made me read this because it has the long mm-hmm. Is this an isekai? <laughs> Deki so konai to yabareta moto eiwa jika kara suiho sereta nore suki kate ni ikiru koto ni. Wow, you read through half of the, that was half the synopsis already. You're already, you're already yeah. done. <laughs> By Studio Dean and Marvy Jack. Ooh, I like that name. Right, that is kind of. I can go search for a peaceful life I've been looking for to we've been looking forward to since my past life. Alan, a boy called a failure because he was <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Alan, a boy called a failure because he was <laughs> with a gift from God is actually Why is that laugh? Why that make you laugh? <laughs> <laughs> because it's such a like hard, like it's a quote from Alan saying, I can finally find a peaceful life. And the very next line is like, says Alan, a failure. <laughs> oh, 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 that's fair. Uh, Alan, the boy called failure because he was not blessed with a gift from God, is actually a former hero who is, still has memories and powers of his past life. Using his banishment from his family's duchy as an excuse, Alan is about to start a carefree journey to do whatever he wants when he comes across an attempt on the life of his ex fiance. The former hero wants to live a relaxing life this time around, but the heroic fantasy life he never wanted is about to begin. Sounds like the most generic isekai story ever. Yeah. And this is going to watch us secretly be the best isekai. Right, and they're like, ah, jerks on you, stupid. It was great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but we're not going to take that chance. Nine. Up next, you have Girls Band Cry. Uh, the main character drops out of high school in her second year and aims at entering a university oh, excuse me, while working alone in Tokyo. Uh, a girl is betrayed by her friends and doesn't know what to do. 
Another girl is abandoned by her parents and tries to survive in the city by doing part-time jobs. Jesus Christ. This, this world, as fun as it sounds. Right. This world... I mean, it's literally called Girls Band Cry. So I, I guess it wasn't, it, it wasn't funny to begin with. <laughs> hey, the design's like cutesy and chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> this world lets us down all the time. Nothing goes as planned. But we want something that we can continue to like. We believe that there's a place where we belong. That's why we sing. I don't know if there's anything past that, but it cuts off there for me. I feel like they just all die at the end. <laughs> God damn. Why is it so unnecessarily dark? Jesus. Oh, what happened no. to this thing after school music club? God damn it. I was kind of interested in it, but then it's like CG. So, no, never mind. Oh, is it all CG? It is all CG. I was like, oh, I'm good. Never mind. Damn. I was like, yes, I want, I, cause I, oh my god, girl, I love a sad music anime. It's gonna be cute CG, though. Huh? It doesn't, look, it doesn't look horrible, the CG. Yeah, but it's supposed to be sad. I don't want it to be, <laughs> like, if this is like a, 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 a more upbeat anime, then I would probably mm-hmm. be like, yeah, sure, it's fine. But, like, this is like, yeah, like, everyone's like. Sad, like I said, I said, like I want the, I want the sad shit and the sad aesthetic. Like I want, yeah. I want my Nana, I want my Given. <laughs> it should be, it should be in claymation to make it extra sad. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> the, only the sad parts are in claymation, though. <laughs> um, all right, pass. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up, we have Hanunoi Kun to Koi no Yamai by East Fish Studio. Hotaro Hinase is a first year in high school that has a great family and wonderful friends, um, but not much luck when it comes to romance. One day, she happens to see a hot boy from her class next door, Hanoi, get dumped. Seeing Hanoi standing in the middle of a park all alone, Hotaru, Hotaru decides to hand him an umbrella. The little act causes Hanoi to ask her out soon after. How does, what does that even mean? Or what does love even mean? What does it mean to be in love? Hotaru is flustered at suddenly being axed out by Hananoi, who has an endless amount of love for the person he loves and wants to do everything he can for them. This is a story about first love between a, a girl who doesn't understand a romantic love and a boy that may be a bit too heavy-handed when it comes to love. Sounds cute. Uh, yeah, I guess. I guess. <laughs> Is there a trailer for it? Yeah, I am just gonna do the trailer. Oh, that looks way more. Oh, they made him. Oh, they made way him... more romance than uh... than comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he cut his hair. He is, he is pretty though. He's nice to look at. Girl's cute too. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's a loaded season, so no chance. Nine. Um, up next, we have Henjin No Salad Bowl by Synergy SP and Studio Comet. Yes. <laughs> to, to the Studio Comet? Or the anime in general? <laughs> to, the the show. <laughs> to the anime in general. Oh, okay. Sosuke Kaburaya, an impoverished detective, met Sada, a princess from another world with magical powers. She began living with Sosuke and quickly adjusted to life in modern Japan. Meanwhile, Livia, a female knight who came from the same world as Sada, found herself lost and homeless. Damn. But surprisingly enjoyed her days there. Uh, these two people who live a positive life despite their situation begin to have an impact on Sosuke and the other oddballs in the neighborhood, including a devilish lawyer, a divorce agent, and a cult leader. Wow. That's a lot. That is. That is a lot. Uh, huh. Did you actually, like, look at the trailer, or did you just see Loli? No, and you're I, like... I just see the Loli, and Loli was cute, so I said yes. I have no idea what the show itself is like. Um, I'm going through... It looks like a funny little cute and It's giving... Oh, my God, it's... The, the, the lowly bait is crazy. The lowly bait <laughs> like is I crazy. Said, cute and funny comedy. Uh, oh, huh. That's what. Uh, sure. <laughs> I don't know. 
It didn't seem. This is like, this is the, listen. This is the one she's. I'm not gonna fight for a show like this because I'm already fighting for Blue Archive. Yeah, it, I wish I wish something about the trailer stood out. No, I don't think this will be a show that stands out. This really strikes me as just generic, cute show. Well, isn't it? Which I will, of course. I mean, there's a scene where some. I think someone's trying to stuff money in a Loli's bra. That was kind of wild. <laughs> But, uh, I guess. So pass? Uh. Um. Or maybe. Open it as maybe. I feel like it's. This yeah. is. A, unlike Blue Kite, this is like a most likely maybe not, but. Yeah. This is on the, the other end of the spectrum. Exactly. Of the yeah. Um. Okay. Oh, I read that. Yes. Yes. Next up, we have Hibike Euphonium Season 3 by Kyo Annie. The third season of Hibike Euphonium, Kumiko's third year finally begins. With the concert band at Kurukiji High School, over 90 members, Kumiko is now the president and does her best with her final high school club activities to try and win her long-desired gold at nationals. I only saw the original season. I didn't even know there was a season two. It's a... This is like the definition of a music drama. Like, there's a lot of drama in this show. It's very beautiful, though. Mmm. Mmm. Beautifully animated. What? And I guess if you like... It's beautifully animated. Uh -oh. Obviously, it's Kyoto Animation. Yeah. But if you like uh, orchestral stuff, you'd probably really love the show. Well, I saw them recovered from your lie in April, so eh. Oh, uh, so yeah, no. <laughs> it's not quite that sad and tragic. Though. Yeah, it's not. I... I... <laughs> I doubt it was going to be. Uh, so pass. Yes. Up next, we have High Speed Etole. I don't know how to say French. By Studio A-Cat. <laughs> A-Cat. The show follows the character Rin Rindo. <laughs> Rin once had the dream of becoming a ballet dancer, but had to give, it up, had to give up on that dream due to an injury. Afterwards, she became a neat and a gamer who lived in her grandmother's house. One day, she is suddenly thrown into the world of racing. The anime takes place in the near future, where the latest technology has made it so that vehicles um, can travel at 500 kilometers per hour uh, safely and securely. Next generation race event called Next Race is Born, which changes the world of racing. Next Racing features AI control support and a revel burst mechanism. A newcomer named Rin Rindo will make her debut in Next Race and will further revolutionize the sport. A lot of sports anime. This I... Like. How, wait, is this like... Is this a game that she's doing? I don't know. I, I like. I got confused. At some like, point, I just had to focus on reading. <laughs> so many words. I had to focus on reading. <laughs> this sounds like product placement. I don't know. I'm like, but how did she? Oh, this an the anime. Oh, they when they see the anime, they're referring to that the actual show. Oh no, this all yeah. She's doing this. I don't know how she went from becoming a neat to doing race cars, but I I, I hey. They didn't tell us, so maybe, works. yeah, you just have to, I guess, watch and find out, which I, I mean, will yeah. not Dri do. Driving is just like playing video games. So like, <laughs> you can easily transition from neat to, you know. NASCAR like, right, driver, game. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Another left turn. Okay. They're going left. Um, next up, we have Himitsu no Aipri by Dongwu Animation and OLM. The main character is Himara, Himari Aozora and Mitsuki Oshikawa enter Paradise Private Academy. Imari, who aspires for Ipri, dreams of making 10,000 friends. But he's shy and anxious, Imari. It might be difficult. Imari unexpectedly makes her Ipri debut. She has a secret she can't even tell her best friend Mitsuki. But it seems Mitsuki has a secret of her own. Secret bearers, Imari, and Mitsuki's Ipri begin. I don't understand what any of what I just read means. <laughs> I'm, okay, because I'm like, am, is, am I high already, or do I just not understand what, what is just Ipri? happened? 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I feel like these synopsis are working because every time we read the synopsis, we're like, what the fuck is going on? What, yeah, what the fuck is that? <laughs> As opposed to them just like giving like literally the whole story. <laughs> That's. Uh, I felt like I was having a stroke, and every time I did another word, I was replaced by I pray. <laughs> every <laughs> noun is just replaced by I pray. <laughs> uh, oh, so. oh, it's giving their magical girls. I think. Yeah, yeah. I thought it was like magic girl idols. Or something. Okay. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> anyway, your favorite things, magical girls and idols. <laughs> Wait, I do like magical girls. Yes, but not magical girl idols. No. Um. Up next, we have Jisan Basan Wakagaeru by Gekko. The story of Jisan Basan Wakagaeru follows Chozo and Ine, an el- elderly couple who are living a quiet life in a farming village in Amori Prefecture. After eating a mysterious apple that they discover on their apple farm, Chozo and Ine are spontaneously they spontaneously regained their youth, but even after being in- reinvigorated, they continue to live life at a grandparently pace. I cannot think of a more slow-paced premise for a show. <laughs> um, same, but I feel like it's going to be really cute. I'm not saying I'm fighting for it, per se, but I might watch it on my own. I'm, I'm looking at the trailer now, and it's pretty cute. It looks pretty nice. Right. I'm just like, that's that's that seems like it's kind of cute. It, it yeah. This but this is I will admit this anime is the definition of a risk. Yeah. This is like hyper risk. <laughs> yeah, hyper extra like risk. Red flag. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe, but like, really low end. Like really even low. more so than the salad bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Like, we need a whole topsy-turvy revolution for us to make this one, but we'll put it as a maybe. Mm. Next up, we have Zhang Tamakan by Alke. The sequel to Zhang Tamapan. Following the prior animated series, this time you'll see Porky Zhangxi's trying out live streaming, two girls, or two guys traveling together, unfortunate fights against gangs, and more situations where the charm of Junchi's comes to shine. Why is everything I'm reading, like, giving me a stroke? What's a Jianchi? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what are Jianchi's? What are Ipri's? <laughs> <laughs> we'll never know. Uh, I just want to read something that makes sense. <laughs> I know it's Mahjong, because I see Mahjong tiles. <laughs> oh, okay. That's the one thing I was looking for. I was like... Mm. What? I, I'm pretty sure that the Jianchis are just like, I don't know, Mahjong players, in my mind. I guess so. Yeah. Maybe. Pass. Yeah. Um, next, we have Kai to Otome to Kamikakushi by Zero G. An aspiring novelist teams up with an enigmatic colleague to solve supernatural urban mysteries. Ogawa Sumirako is a busty bookstore clerk who wants to become a novelist after writing success in her youth. When strange occurrences start cropping up around the city, she teams up with her flirtatious co-worker, Adashino Ren, to look at them. But Ren is hiding a secret of his own. With their combined skills of occult knowledge, what will they discover as they investigate? Uh-oh. Is that etchy and mystery? Interesting. I know. I was like, what? Tags. Right. Um. I don't know. Is it gonna hit? Like, <laughs> I don't. Know, the, the last horror anime we saw was really good. So I'm just like, yeah, is it gonna I'm hit? I'm watching the trailer now. Is it it looks like it has potential. I like the eyes. Mm-hmm. Ah. <sighs> I don't know about that one. I don't know. I don't know. It is interesting. It it would give us something that we have nothing like. We, we, I'm guaranteed there's no other mystery show on our list or horror. Yeah. Could at least put it as a maybe, just in case. I guess. Yeah. Doesn't hurt. It hurts. 
Um, all right, that's a maybe. Next up, we have Kaiju 8 Go by Production IG. With the highest kaiju emergence rates in the world, Japan is no stranger to attack by deadly monsters. Enter the Japan Defense Force, a military organization tasked with neutralization of kaiju. Kafka Hibino, a kaiju corpse cleanup man, has always dreamed of joining the force. But when he gets another shot at achieving his childhood dream, he undergoes an unexpected transformation. How can he fight kaiju when he's become one himself? Interesting. Mm -hmm. Now that is an interesting premise. That is. I want to see what the trailer looks like. Oh my god. See, it, it's giving Attack on Titan. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like Attack on Titan from the premise. <laughs> sounds like a more comedic Attack on Titan. Uh, I don't know if it looks... Ooh, I like the music, too. I don't know if it looks funny, per se, but it looks... Ooh, no, it kind of looks, looks... It looks good. It looks though. good. It does. And it's been... Door, well, it's production IG, so... Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it's definitely not a comedy. Definitely not a comedy. I kind of like her. Ooh. You know what this, what's going to happen this season? Because there's so many big name shows. There's going to be one of these type of shows. I'm not saying it's this one in particular, but there's going to be some under the radar, like, banger that no one watches. Mm -hmm. I feel like this has potential to be that. Yeah, same. I kind of kind of hit. I'm, I'm hip if you are. Yeah, let's, let's maybe. Okay. All right, up next we have Kamiwa Game Ni. Ueteru. In their overabundance of free time, the gods grew bored and decided to create challenging battles of wits to spice things up. <clears throat> Excuse me. The, their opponents? Humanity. A few players called apostles. Really? Really? On Easter Sunday? Okay. <laughs> Meet the gods on a spiritual realm's playing field to beat the deities at their own games. A former god named Leolesia has awoken after sleeping for thousands of years, and her first demand is to meet this era's very best player. She is introduced to Faye, an acclaimed rookie apostle. Together they plan to challenge the gods and win the ultimate prize. But no one in human history has managed to clear 10 games because the gods can be... Gods can be capricious, outrageous, and sometimes downright incomprehensible. In the face of absurdity, what can the apostles do but enjoy the contest to its fullest? Oh my god, I can't believe No Game No Life got a second season. Is this... Is this, this is literally the plot to No Game No Life. Oh. I did not know that. It makes me want to watch No Game No Life. <laughs> <laughs> just watch No Game No Life and pray for a second season like every other person and if you don't think it's coming I guess y'all could watch this yeah this will sate your No Game No Life cravings I guess so how do you feel about it oh I'm not interested oh, okay. yeah. um, next up we have Karasu wa Aruji wo Erabanai by Studio Piro uh, in the world of flying crow humans... <laughs> wow, off to a strong <laughs> start. <laughs> yeah, trouble is brewing. <laughs> Yukia is the lackluster second son of a regional boss in North House territory. His younger brother has overtaken him in academics. He's no good at sword battle either. Not that this ever bothers him. So it comes as a shock when this boy, who claims to have no ambition whatsoever, is the one chosen to attend the Imperial Prince in court. What awaits Yukia and his new master's intrigue, murder, a mysterious drug, and invasion from an unexpected enemy? Can they save the world of Yatagarasu, the three-legged crows of Japanese myth? That is a lot to, to take. Yeah, like, crow humans was... Yeah, when you lead with crow humans... That's crazy. I went to a trailer, not they threw the main character off the building and be like, Transformer die, bitch. <laughs> this also looks like it could be potentially a really good show. Oh. Like, it's almost giving me, um, fuck, what was that show from not last season, but the season before, where it was also like samurai-ish? 
Um, maybe from from before you. mean the one before? Oh, um, 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 shit, shit, shit. I think it's like, what was it like? Hell in Paradise or something? Yeah, Hell's Paradise. Hell's or Paradise, whatever. yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's what it's giving me vibes of. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah, kind of, except everyone's just a fucking crow. <laughs> yeah. Well, you got something against crows, Drew? Um. Are you crowist? <laughs> am I a crowist? As long as they leave my dead body alone. <laughs> uh. So maybe no pass. What are you thinking? Um. I think I'm may- maybe it. It's probably a good, uh, reputable studio. Yeah, that's true. All right, up next you have Kenka Dokugaku by Okurutu, Okuruto Noburo. Noburu, god damn it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, scrawny high school student Hobinyu is probably the last guy you'd expect to start in a new YouTube channel that revive, revives, revolves around fighting. But after following some advice from... Oh, hold on. Okay, I thought up the zoom a bit. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. But after following some advice from a mysterious YouTube channel, Hoban is soon knocking out guys stronger than him and raking in more money than he can have ever dreamed of. Can Hoban keep this up, or will he eventually meet his match? Oh man, it's gonna give the youth some bad ideas. Right. Is this just is this just Fight Club? This is just Fight Club, yeah. <laughs> this is just Fight Club, but without the political undertones. <laughs> yeah, that's wow. This would be. I feel like this might be one that I watch if I have like nothing better to do. It's... Mm-hmm. Like, I just want people watch people fight. <laughs> I just want to see high schoolers beat the shit out of each other. Eh, I mean, we watch it all the time. True. <laughs> right. Yeah, but I don't necessarily want to cover it for the podcast. Yeah. I feel like we wouldn't have much to say. Other than, they beat the shit out of each other. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, no. Yeah. I said, yeah, that was for World my Star! personal enjoyment. <laughs> yeah. All right, so pass. Uh, Now, controversially, we have... Himetsu no Yaiba Hashira Gekohen by UFO Table. The adaptation of the Hashira training arc. The Hashira, a demon slaying corpse, highest ranking swordsman and members. The Hashira training has begun in order to face the forthcoming battle against Ruzan Kibutsuji. Each with their own thoughts and hopes held in their hearts, a new story for Tanjiro and the Hashira begins. So, there are two strikes against this show. I love Demon Slayer. But, one, this starts all the way in fucking May. Yeah, like that's obscene. Way out there. And then, so that means we're covering this. We're only doing, like, five shows. I mean, same for My Hero, but I, like, yeah. My Hero, we've been watching for, like, much longer. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But also on top of that, this is, as we've been told, just a training arc. This is, like, the least eventful arc in all of Demon Slayer. It is just training, like, Goku training on Namek. So yeah, yeah. After 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 we told after we were told that it's it's giving pass. It's kind of giving pass. Yeah, because I feel like it's gonna be very strongly just slice of life with yeah trading stuff. And yeah, if if we are wrong, then let us know. Right, let us know, or we'll do like a filler arc. I don't know to cover it on the back end or something like that. We'll figure it out. Yeah. So should we just outright say no? Yeah, I'm 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 done for saying no. Me, me too. Okay. All right. Up next, we have Konosu Barashi Sekai Ni Chi or Shu Fuku Shu Ku Fuku Wo Three by Drive. It is the third season of Konosuba. The dysfunctional party is back, but they may be sure of members soon because Cosmo is over it. Disillusioned with his adventure, he wants to become a monk. 
Aqua Megumin and Darkness call bull. <laughs> However, the career dispute gets put on hold when a princess requests to hear all about their tales. Will the taste of fame at the royal castle keep them together, or will this mark their farewell tour? I'm just like, who wrote this synopsis? Because it is <laughs> right. It's it's. <laughs> Different. <laughs> Not bad. Just markably different. Mm-hmm. Hmm. So we did see the first episode already with our patrons because that was leaked. Um, which I guess spoils that we are covering Konosuba. We're covering it, right? <laughs> no, no, of course we are. No, of course we are. <laughs> yeah, this is legit one of my favorite comedy anime of all time. Mm-hmm. So of course, you know. Yeah. Agreed. Thus marks the first show we agreed to cover for the season. Yay! <laughs> Forty minutes in. <laughs> um. <laughs> Next we have Kumarba by Creative House Pocket. The anime will be an action comedy that sees Kumara and Tabris fighting against Bagudin, who is wreaking havoc on the online world. Another stroke. <laughs> Uh yeah, I mean yeah, I, yes. yeah, <laughs> no, 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 yeah. Next uh, <laughs> we have <laughs> Kuroshi Kuroshi Tsuji, uh, Kishuku Gakuen, which is Black Butler. Uh, by, I'll say that three times fast. By Cloverworks. Nope, I don't think I can. A <laughs> uh, continuation of the Black Butler, the the newest. Anime. Um, is that season two or season three? This is season two. I think this would be season three. I think there was a season two of Black Butler. Oh, okay. I'll take your word for it. Oh, I don't try Black, uh, Black Butler. Fan. I watched the first one and it was like pretty conclusive. And I was just like, okay, well. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't uh, know. Apparently, so, I this. Wait, what? The prequel. Okay, what's the prequel of this? Oh, yeah, I guess this is season three. No, it's a season. Is this season two? Uh, I don't. I don't care. When did they start? They da 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 da. Okay, so yeah, this is. Um. Yeah, this is season three. Season three. I'm almost positive. So we're watching it. <laughs> no. All right. Passu. Mm. Next up, we have level two kata cheat data moto yusha koho no matari isekai life by J C Staff. Uh, the magical kingdom of Clearode summons hundreds of heroes from other worlds every year to fight in their war against the Dark One and its army of powerful demons. <laughs> okay, Voldemort. Yeah, Banaza is one of these heroes, summoned from the royal capital, Paluma. But something is not right. Banaza is only an average merchant. He has no magic, no fighting ability, and his stats are abysmal. Worse, a mishap leaves him unable to return home. Rejected as a hero and stranded in another world, abandoned to the far reaches of the kingdom by a cruel king who just wants him gone, Banaza's fate looks pretty bleak. But what will happen once the failed hero candidate finds himself with super cheat powers once he hits level two? Um, <laughs> yeah, I kind of tuned out after Average Merchant. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> it's an isekai. Yeah. I'm sure Orion will love it. <laughs> I like the cat girl, she's cute. But other than that, we'll pass. Yeah. Um, up next, we have Mahoka Koko no Etose third season by 8 bit. The third season of Mahoka Koko no Retose after the battle against the new breed front. Mm. That's a. <laughs> right, I'm like, I want, do I want to go to this front? <laughs> uh, Tatsuya and Miyuki enter the new magic engineering department. We didn't see the second season, and I don't think you even liked the first season, so. Pass. Yeah. Cool. Next up, we have Maho Gakuin no Fute Fute. Oh, God, I hate this. Fuck 
All right. Mahogakuin no Fute Gosha Shito Saikyo Fute Ki Gosha Shijo Saikyo no Mao no Shisho Tensei Shite Shishon Tachi no Gakoe Kayo 2 Part 2 by Silver Lake. And it is the second core of the second season of that title. <laughs> the Academy's lessons are back in session with Annals of Old Gold. Oh, it's that show. Yeah, it's that show. Why do I always forget that name? No, I saw a title. <laughs> I saw a title too, and I was like, this is really familiar. I think I know this anime. Yeah. <laughs> Just say the Annals show. Come on, man. Shorten that shit. <laughs> um, we did watch the second season, I guess the first half of the second season. I didn't even know it was. That was like a long time ago. That was. Can you yeah. even call this a split core if it's like fucking a year apart or more? Mm, I guess you can. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I don't care. <laughs> I mean, I that was, the second season wasn't that. Good. It was not. Yes. Made me question if I even liked the first one. Yeah, it had the log horizon effect. I'm not gonna lie. Right. Yeah. Sorry to this man. Mm-hmm. All right. Up next we have. Mao no ore ga dore elf wo yome ni shitanda ga do medereba i by brain base. Dengan might be the most feared evil sorcerer, but when it comes to social interactions, he is the most inept. All those days studying in the dark arts will help him when he falls in love at first sight with Nephilia. The beautiful elven slave and spends his entire fortune to purchase her. With no clue to how to talk to each other, the awkward arrangement for bumbling sorcerer intimate elf begins. I think Xavier was talking to me about this, but I no. I no. No. I will pass on this one. It sounds too painfully generic. Yeah, same. Um yeah, go ahead. Um, what we won't pass on is Maho, uh, or Mushoku Tensei 2 Isekai Itara Honki Desu Part 2 by Studio Bind, which is, of course, the second core of the second season of Mushoku Tensei. We covered the first core of the second season and loved it. I'm looking forward to seeing the relationship between Sophie and Rudius. Mm-hmm. Um, I believe they get married in this core, because that's where we left off. Oh. So, I'm looking forward to seeing that. Me and too. We are going to cover this. Alright, up next we have One Room Hayatari Futsu Tenshi Tsuku uh, by Okuruto Noboru. Oh, excuse me. Shintaro Tokumitsu is a high schooler living all alone. But things take an unexpected turn when a girl named Toa shows up on his balcony. Not only is she incredibly pure and sweet, but there's something different about her. Something divine. Just who is Shintaro's new roommate? And what adorable hijinks lie in the store? <laughs> Plot twist. It's just a uh, lowly bait Professor McGonagall from Harry Potter. <laughs> that actually sounds like a good premise. Lolly bait, Professor McGowan, go from Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> not this, not this one. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, I saw. I actually saw the first episode of this because it also got leaked. It was incredibly just whatever you are imagining. That's what. It yeah, is. I figured as much. So pass. Mm-hmm. Next up, we have Oi Tonbo by OLM. This story begins with Igarashi, who is disqualified as a pro golfer after a certain incident. Drugs. He beat somebody up with his club. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and thus moves to Kagoshima Prefecture's Tokara Islands to step out of the limelight. Of these islands, known as Japan's last unexplored wilderness, he encounters a naive girl named Tombo. As it turns out, these supposedly unexplored islands have a homemade golf course where Tombo plays every day. She demonstrates genius level prowess, pulling every kind of shot with just one golf club. Pretty sure you can't do that. A three iron. <laughs> Igarashi is amazed <laughs> at Tombo's talent, even as she harbors doubts about her using only a three iron. Oh. Hidden deep in Tombo's heart lies a painful, sad past. 
Oh. I'm just imagining like the last episode that she goes to like a pro tournament and tries to putt with a three iron, and they're like, "Uh, it's very talented that you can do that, but you're disqualified." <laughs> right, that that part. <laughs> and, and 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 what was the painful pass? Did did someone beat someone up with that? With the <laughs> just to be like someone someone beat up my mom with the with a golf club, and that's why I've been practicing golf every day to get that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, that is It all wild. comes full circle. <laughs> wild. Alright, pass. Yeah. We're not covering this. No sports anime. Alright, up next we have Okami to Koshinuryo, Merchant Meets the Wise Wolf by Passion. Uh, Lawrence is a traveling merchant selling various goods from a horse-strong cart. One day he arrives at a village and meets a beautiful girl with the ears and tails of an animal. Her name is Holo the Wise Wolf, and she brings a bountiful harvest. She, was to, she wishes to return to her homeland, and Lawrence offers to take her. Now the once lonely merchant and their once and the once lonely wise wolf begin their journey north. Yeah, this is um, Spice and Wolf. Mm-hmm. I believe it's a remake. So you don't need to be familiar with the first series of anything. Hmm. Because it does sound like a a new story. Hmm. I I did like the original series. However, I will say you have to really, really either like the characters or really, really, really like economics because there is a whole lot of economics in the show. Huh. They go heavy with that shit. The, the the characters have a good um like banter, you know, chemistry that kind of mm-hmm. thing, so. uh, Well, for whatever reason, apparently the chat wanted to pick this, yeah. so uh, so should we put it as a maybe and then let them? Yeah, or just a no <laughs> and let them. <laughs> oh, that's so mean! <laughs> well, I'm gonna put it as a maybe and then mm-mm. we'll get back to it. Girl, I don't want to watch it. <laughs> all right, fine. We'll put that. Guys, you know who to blame when, when if it doesn't get picked by a patron choice. No, if you if you have pick it, I will watch it. But do I want us mm. to vote for it? No. Fair enough. You guys know what to do. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Go ahead. Who said? Who's read that one? Yeah, me. me. All right. So next up, we have Remonster by Studio Dean. After meeting an untimely death, Tomokui Kanata is reincarnated as a lowly goblin. But he's worked up a monstrous appetite. Thanks to his new ability that allows him to grow stronger the more he feeds, this feeble status quickly changes and he rises to become the goblin leader. With a mix of his past memories in your body and strong stomach, he's taking a bite out of this new fantastical world. Ha ha ha. Yeah, um. It literally just looks like the slime anime, but I play slime with goblin. So, no, because. Yeah. If I want a discount slime anime, I'll just watch the slime anime, which is also exactly. Aaron's. But like slime anime, they also had pretty attractive looking goblin girls and guys. The goblins are hot. In this one. So, okay, no, I gotta, I gotta. Let me just glance at the trailer. Real quick. <laughs> if we were still not doing, just just to judge whether I watch it on my own time or not. <laughs> okay, I see the hot goblin guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she's pretty. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, you know what? I'll give this episode a watch. Wow, that's time. crazy. But we'll, you will too. Mm. We'll not watch it in my podcast. <laughs> Alright, up next we have Rinkai by TMS Entertainment. The story centers on the sport of women's cycling, which they viewed in Japanese, Japanese in Japan shortly after World War II. However, organized competitions just... Uh, Organized competitions folded after just 15 years and lay dormant for several decades. Thanks, no, then the Runkai League uh, launched the Revive to support. How do you feel about women's cycling, Drew? Uh, sure. As in. Okay, so no. we're covering it. Let's go. <laughs> As in, if you love it, I like it, but no. No, for me. No. Pass. <laughs> Next up, we have Sasayaku Yoni Koe wo Utaru by Cloud Hearts and Yokohama Animation Lab. 
Oh, this looks like a Yuri. I think that's a girl on the left. I don't know. After performing <laughs> right. a song at her school's opening ceremony, musician Yuri Asanagi receives an appoint, uh, apparent love confession from freshman Himari Kino. But just as Yuri decides she wants to return Himari's feelings, Himari reveals that she did not love her, but only admires her. Yeah, don't be gay. But you can't unring a bell once struck, and Yuri is determined to make Himari fall for her, not just her music. Will their hearts ever beat as one, or will their love fall out of tune? What is uh, wrong with the Fuck, no, <laughs> this, is, this is what I wanted. <laughs> they gave me, oh, they made it gay. Oh, how they know this? How they know me so well? It looks pretty, too, the art. Mm -hmm, it does. It's, it's a drama, music, lesbians. Oh. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how you... I'm, I'm watching this on my own time. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> we can put it as a maybe, mm. but I'll definitely watch it on my own time as well. Yeah. We'll come back to this, because we definitely don't have any other Yuri's this season. Mm -hmm. um, up next, you have Seiyu Radio no Urautomote Ura, Ura by Connect. Uh, Yushi... Yushi Yugure and Yasumi Utatane, high school classmates and hosts of a weekly radio program, paint a picture friendship for the listeners. Yet in reality, they couldn't be more different. Their awkward dynamic is a whirlwind of chaos and insults. As their tumultuous relationship unfolds, they navigate the turbulent waters of friendship and rivalry in the cutthroat, cutthroat realm of showbiz. Wow, they're just like us. I uh, yeah. <laughs> can't wait to call you a bitter bitch. <laughs> yeah, as soon as the podcast ends, me and you just like start throwing shit at each other. Hmm. Actually, the art looks kind of cute, though. I'm not gonna lie. It does. Uh... It does. Um, it's either between this one or the lesbian one. I feel like. They kind of... I feel like this one could be a bit funny, or you know, like this is more of a pure comedy. It doesn't, it doesn't look super funny. I feel like it's yeah, it's more like um, it's not like slapstick funny, but it's just I feel like it's gonna be slightly more funny than the lesbian one. Yeah, I mean, I'm down to put both of these in a maybe and like see where we, you know. Okay, let's do that. Um, okay. Yeah. Next up, we have Sentai. Dai Shikaku, oh, excuse me, Dan Sentai Dai Shikaku by Yostar Pictures. When a, when a monster army invades Earth, invaded Earth 13 years ago, the Divine Dragon Rangers rolls up to stop them. With the war raging on, the great heroes are mankind's last hope, or are they? In truth, the invaders were subjected over within a year, forced to continue to crank out monsters a week for the Rangers to crush in front of their adoring fans. But one monster has had enough. Something has to change. He'll rebel against the might of the Dragon Rangers and destroy them all from the inside. Actually, it's a really cute premise. I like this. Yeah, I like, that's actually kind of cool. Hold on. God damn. God damn it, yeah, Come on. Oh, no. Why is it actually animated really well, too? Yeah. Oh no, they have a cute mascot. Oh, it's about to be by Tiger and Bunny. It's what? Same director as Tiger and Bunny. Uh -huh. Um. I'm leaning towards no. I think ultimately because I don't like the mechs. <laughs> you don't like the mechs? Nope. I didn't even get to the mechs yet. I like, I like all this talking stuff and the people stuff. And that's why I'm next. I'm just like, mm-mm. Not worth fighting. Not worth fighting for? I'll probably watch it my own time. Yeah. But yeah. Um. So. Yeah. Up next, we have Shimatsu Train Dokoe Iku by EMT Squared. A anime story is set in a town in a not so- Wait, you skipped like three. I did. Why did I look at this one first? It's probably because the next one you definitely don't want. Oh, yo. Oh, my God. So when you were reading, I wasn't super paying attention. And I looked back 
And I thought you were reading the anime that was below what you were reading, the Sentai. Oh, is that why I was like, there was no mechs in this? And I'm like, what did you talk about with mechs? Yeah. All right, look at the trailer of the other one. <laughs> that actually looked pretty good. Oh, wow. And I will look at the trailer of the mech one, because I want to see how ugly the mechs look. Oh, yeah, I actually don't want to watch the Sentai one. I feel like this has been coming up. Was there a recent Sentai anime before? Or did I just think yeah, that up? Ugly. Um, we saw a Sentai anime, but that was a, like a year or two ago. No, that's, that's the one with the villain. Yeah, that was like a... The villain. Yeah. That's not a Sentai anime. It just happens to have a, a Sentai in it. Like, um, I don't, uh, was there not another one? Uh. Maybe. Was there like a romance? Like the, oh yeah, there, yeah. There, I remember there was a romance one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't. I, I never saw that one, but people said it was good. It was good. Oh. Yeah, I saw it. Yeah. All right, so I'll put maybe on the Sentai one. Okay. And um, let me go back. To yeah. The so, anyways, um, up next is Shadow Flame, Shadow vs. Flame, Arken by Zex. Sequel to Shadow vs. Flame, Seven Shadows, Hen. Arc Ruler has declared that he will remake the world and has caused all the world's digital friends to run amok as Shade. The mission to give into light and his friends is to neutralize the three towers that are leading the world destruction, which apparently we will do with the card game. Having obtained the Nexa system for for use against the Shade, Light and his friends aim for each tower while defeating the Shade. Now the battle for the world. The fight. Sorry, the battle for the fate of the world begins. That was a lot Shade. of reading to just say no. Right. <laughs> Next. We have a, a bad history with Shadow mm. this channel. Looking forward to the game, though. Yeah, the game's great. Next up, we have Shinigami Bochan to Kuro Maid third season by JC Staff, which is the third season of Shinigami Bochan to Kuro Maid. Uh, the Duke and Alice will have their fates collide as their untouchable relationship comes to its conclusion. I didn't see the first two seasons. Yep, same. So, not watching that. Pasu. All right, now on to anime that I thought Oni was reading. <laughs> the, the one we were trashing without knowing we were trashing. Um, Shin Kalyan Changed the World by Production IG, Signal MD. Shogakukan Music and Digital Entertainment. They have three companies and have still trash. <laughs> and you still can't make the mechs? Where's Sunrise? Call Sunrise. And they're like, bitch, we only need ourselves. Mm-hmm. Um, Unknown is a mysterious enemy that suddenly appeared a long time ago. As a countermeasure, the Evolutionary Railway Development Agency, also known as Erda, has developed the Shinkalion robot that transforms into bullet trains to prepare for the threat. I want to be a cool person who can protect something. Taisei Onari, a second year high, junior high school student, transfers to Shinkai Gakuen Middle School in, in search of clues about his older sister who disappeared two years ago. But then the unknown appears for the first time in 10 years. Taisei happened to have a high school. Oh, sorry, high school. A high aptitude value as a Shinkalion pilot and is forced to make a decision to fight it. What is the true, nish- na- the true nature of the unknown? What is its purpose? What is the truth that comes to light at the end of the fight? The story of a boy's determination and growth begins now. Fuck. That was a lot. Why does it say note relations are provisional and will be updated when more info is announced? Uh, like, what relations? I just, I don't know. I saw that too. And I was like, girl, I sounds like I don't got to read it. Listen, all that, and I still don't want to nope. watch this because the, yeah, no, pass. Mechs looked horrible. Mm-hmm. Next up, we have Shumatsu Train Dokoeiku by EMT Squared. The anime story is set in a town of a not-so-ordinary countryside where a big and strange occurrence is happening to its residents. 
but a young girl named Shizudu Chikuda has a strong desire to see her lost friend again. Shizudu and the three other girls board an abandoned train, and they set out to the outside world where survival is not certain. What awaits them at the last stop of the Doomsday Train? Maybe a better plot. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this sounds like one of those shows that's like super cute girls or whatever, but it's actually like a very dark and depressing subject matter. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to find out. Me either. Pass. All right, next we have Ta- Daima Okairi by Studio Dean. Uh, Masaki Fujiyoshi is a stay-at-home spouse and parent. He has bought. He has bought. He's fought long and hard with feelings of being a burden to his loving husband Hiromu, due to his status as an omega, <laughs> and the difficulty they face to achieve his um this domesticity. With their son Hikari was born, the family moved to an area better suited for raising children. Despite their newfound domestic bliss, the family ties to their past are in tatters. There are people they left behind to pursue the creation of their happy family life, and when they begin to return, Masaki and Hiromi, Hiromi aren't quite sure they have good intentions. Oh. Oh. That last part kind of rizzed it up a little bit. A little bit of drizzle. Um, I won't fight for this. I will be watching it, because I'm going to watch it regardless. Mm-hmm. So, if you don't want it, I'm indifferent. Uh, we'll pass. Yeah. Next up, we have Tensei Kizoku Kante Skill de Naraigaru by Studio Mother. Mother. Our protagonist, Ars Lavant, was reincarnated in another world as the young son of a minor noble who owns a small domain. Ours was not particularly strong or intelligent, but he was born with the appraisal skill that's able to see others' abilities and statuses. <laughs> <Slide>. <laughs> he uses the skill to find the best hidden talents in the world to make their small, weak domain into the best. An isekai tale about reunification is about to start, featuring the kind-hearted Ars and the unique talents he manages to find. That's I, I, Just off the strength of them having the nerve, I will not <laughs> even... Consider right. Yes, Bye. I won't even bother. Ew. Um. So yeah. Obviously, no. Um. Up next, we have Tensei Shitara Dai Nana Oji the Tan no de Himamani Majutsuo Kiwamimas by Tsugumu Akita Anime Lab. The qu- the qualities valued most in a study of magic are bloodline, aptitude, and effort. There was once... Oh, sorry, there was once. There was once a sorcerer who, despite his deep love for magic, was born a commoner and thus lacked the bloodline and aptitude for it. As he died in a natural death, he wished he had studied magic more when he had the chance. Then he was reincarnated as Lloyd, the seventh prince of a kingdom of Saloum, and one blessed with a strong magical bloodline. But one with all this, all his memories intact, along with the perfect bloodline and immense talent, he was determined to enjoy his new life, using his extraordinary magical abilities to master the study of magic that was beyond his reach in his previous life. Jesus, that was so much reading. <laughs> I almost like I almost got cross-eyed. So this one, I will say, I'm gonna watch on my own time. Or not, I don't, I don't think you're gonna want to cover this on the podcast. Um, mostly because the the show is really cute, and also the girls are really cute, and also Orion informed me that it goes hard later on. So I'm curious about it. I am curious about it. Apparently, it has some level of popularity. Okay. So I will watch it and let you guys know. Maybe we'll do a filler arc or something. All right, please do, because you know, I'm going to skip, especially compared <laughs> to literally the next anime that we're talking about. Next up, we have Tensei Shitara Slime that they can to season by 8-bit. 
The third season of Tensei Shitara Slime Rataken. Rimuru has officially become a demon lord after defeating Clayman. Following Walpurgis, the demon lord's banquet, Rimuru's domain is expanded to include the entire great forest of Jura. Anticipating a flood of representatives from all races showing up to pay their respects, Rimuru decides to throw a festival to commemorate the opening of Tempest, using it as an opportunity to gain new citizens and present demon lord Rimuru to the world. Meanwhile, in the Holy Empire of Lubelius, home base of the monster-hating cult of <laughs> Luminsum, the Holy Knight Captain Hinata receives a message from Rimuru, but the message is actually a fabricated declaration of war oh. sent by some unknown party. Upon learning that Hinata is heading for Tempest, Rimuru makes a decision. Thus begins a new challenge for Rimuru, striving to distinguish a friend from foe in his pursuit of the ideal nation where humans and monsters prosper together. Ooh. I'm hype. I'm hype as well. So we're covering it. Mm -hmm. We did cover the first two seasons, and I believe the ending of the last season was very good. Yes, sir. It's one of our so commands. I'm, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Mm -hmm, me too. All right. Up next, we have The Fable by Tezuka Productions. When you're the infamous prodigy hitman known only as Fable, many things come easy. Being a normal person, however, isn't one of them. In fact, being told that he can't kill anyone for a while may just be the hardest job Fable's ever taken. Kind of like that premise. Yeah, it's kind of funny. Mm. Um, I feel like the, you'll hate the animation, though. Oh yeah, no, I hate the animation. Yeah, I'm looking at it now. yeah, yeah. This is very not <laughs> for you. There's, two, the there's no moe. <laughs> yeah, no moe. It's just woman. <laughs> just normal woman. Pass. Mm. Um. Yeah. Agree. Right, next up, we have the Idol Master Shiny Colors by Polygon Pictures. The producer of two eight three two eight three production begins together. Uh, uh, brings together a whole new cast of idols to the stage, and there's a long ass note that I'm not gonna read. Yeah, because you know what Idol Master is. We know what Idol Master is, and we know we are not covering an Idol Master show. Period. On the podcast. Peace. All right. Up next, we have the New Gate by Cloud Hearts and Yokohama Animation Lab. The New Gate, an online game transformed transformed into a life and death struggle for its players. Okay, so online uh thanks to the valiant efforts of shin the most powerful of them all an end to the game in freedom for everyone seemed within reach but just moments after shin defeats the game's final boss he finds himself bathed in an unknown light and transported some 500 years into the future of the air and the game world going from a simple game gone wrong to a strange new land one young sword swordsman of unrivaled strength is about to embark on a sh on the legendary journey. Um, pass. Yeah. Okay. Next up, we have Tonari no Yokai Sun by Linen Films. In the rural town of Enagmori, Inagamori, the mountain breeze often blows. Everyday life there is mysterious, filled with monsters, humans, and gods coexisting side by side. They live each day with their own joys and worries in their hearts. Buchio lives as a cat until. He was 20 years old and was reborn as a Nekomata. Mutsumi is a human being who also lives a positive life, even though he's, she is concerned about her missing father. Jiro is a crow tengu who has been protecting this town for generations, a slightly mysterious and gentle story of connections that occur in the daily life of relaxing and heartwarming country town. Oh. Pass. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that part. sounds like a slice of life. Mm -hmm. It is. Um, up next we have Token Rambu Kai killed in Moyuri Honojo. Honoji, excuse me. One day a new sword manifested at the Citadel Yudo Yukimitsu, a sword roar a sword worn by a commander of the Sengoku era, Odu Odu Oda Nobunaga, who's granted to yeah, who's granted to one of his attending servants, Mori Ranmaru. Uh, Udo Yukimitsu makes it known that she is that he is proud to be Oda Nobunaga's beloved sword. Also clashes 
with the other swords who also call Nobunaga their former master. So is uh Samonji Heshikiri Hasebe Yangen Toshiro the important the point the team capsule Yaman Gabari Kunihiro Miss must rally a citadel that has fallen to disarray at Budo's Yukimitsu's arrival. In the midst of all this, the Saniwa has received an order to part for the year 1582. The Honoji event where Oda Nobunaga makes, met his demise, where Oda Nobunaga... Oh no, I already read that line. Um, anime productions will be scripted and overseen by blah 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 blah. Okay. <laughs> I blanked out like two lines into that. Sorry, Drew. Um, I, I guess no Oda Nobunaga. Yeah, I, I guess. I think the main character is like a sword. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yeah. <laughs> Pass. Yep. Okay. Next up, we have unnamed memory by Engi. My wish as champion is for you to descend the tower and be my wife. Climbing a deadly tower, Oscar seeks the power of its master, the Witch of the Azure Moon. He hopes her incredible magic can break a curse that will kill any woman he takes for a wife. When the prince sees how beautiful Tianchi, Tiancha is, though, he has a better idea since she's surely strong enough to survive this curse. She should just marry him instead. Tiancha isn't keen on the idea, but agrees to live with Oscar in the Royal Castle for a year while researching the spell placed on the prince. The witch's pretty face hides several lifetimes of dark secrets, however, secrets that begin resurfacing. resurfacing. Mm. Kind of like that premise. Me too. Look at the trailer. Uh. Yeah, it bores me. I'm sorry. Well, you're so negative. But, yeah. It doesn't look particularly interesting for the podcast. Right. I may watch it on my own, though. That's all I'm saying. Um. Up. Uh, is, uh. Vampire Dormitory by Studio Blanc. I want you to become your thrall. A cross dressing girl. And doting empire, empire, doting vampires, dangerous cohabitation is about to begin. After losing her parents and being abandoned by her relatives, Mito, yeah, Mito is all left all alone in the world. But she's cut out of the restaurant where she works with, with no money and no place to live. Uh, oh, that's a comma. She is taken in by Ruka, a vampire. In exchange for giving Ruka her blood as his food, she ends up living with him. In a boys' dorm full of beautiful boys with unique personalities. Um, Reverse harem. Yeah, I guess so. Um, now she's like, "Uh huh, I'm a tomboy. <laughs> oh, I just look still beautiful as fuck. Yeah, whatever." So I'll take that as a pass. Yeah. Next up, we'll have we have Windbreaker by Cloverworks, where the average scores are the lowest, but the fights are the strongest. I like that tag for high school. <laughs> Florian High School is renowned as a super school of delinquents. Haruka Sakura, a first year student, came from the outside the city to fight to the top. However, Florian High School has become a group that protects its town called the Chime of the Windbreaker, Bofudin. The heroic legend of high school delinquent Sakura begins here. More fighting amongst high school kids. A lot of high school violence. Mm, more so than usual. Yes, but not very interested. Mm -mm, no. no. Yes. Um, next, we have Yoru no Kurage wa Oyogenai by Doja Kobo. Kobo. I want to find what I enjoy. Shibuya is a city full of identity. It is here on Shibuya's late night streets that illustrator Mahiru Kozuki, former idol Kano Yamanuchi, VTuber Klui Watase, and composer Makem 
uh, Anok Takarashi. Four young women who are slightly outside this world join together and form an anonymous group called Gel. Uh, I, I also want to shine like someone else. And if it's not me but we, then we might as well be able to shine. Oh, I like that. I like last mm, line. I like Doga Kobo. They usually have a good art style. Yeah. I mean, no, it's a no for me, but yeah. Agreed. Uh, yeah, it's a no for me, but I will watch it because I do like Doga Kobo. Okay, you let me know how it turns out. Mm hmm. Next up, we have Yozakura Sanchi no Daisai Kasen by Silver Link. Tayo Asano is a super shy high school student, and the only person he could talk to is his childhood friend, Mutsumi Yozakura. It turns out that Mutsumi is the daughter of the ultimate spy family. Even worse, Mutsumi is being harassed by her overprotective nightmare of her brother, Kyoichiro. What drastic steps will Tayo have to make to save Mutsumi? A spy family comedy. The mission begins here. Man, Spy Family really spawned a whole yeah, subgenre of <laughs> it. Really did, and I I hate it because this actually looks funny. Does it? It's kind of funny. I mean, like funny and actually, Buddy Daddies was good. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of sla- I feel like there's gonna be a healthy amount of slapstick happening. Mm-hmm. It's a lot of stupid shit. So maybe a maybe. Exactly. Yeah, I'm down to put it for it, maybe. It looks pretty funny. Yeah. All right. Take us home. And last but not least, we have Yuru Camp Sigma? I, I, I don't know what sign that is. Uh, it's called a triangle drum. Dude, I guess so. Triangle season three. <laughs> <laughs> it's the third season of Yuru Camp Triangle. I'm happy to say I will never watch Yuru Camp. You hear me, Orion? Never. Yes, I really would have literally nothing to do on this planet. <laughs> no other anime. The girls are cute, though. Yeah. Um, but pass. Yeah. So the important question is, before we go back to, or I guess we can incorporate it, uh, we also still have Dungeon Meshi, which is continuing. Hmm. I guess we, the choice is, do we want to keep Dungeon Meshi? Or we want to replace we'll it say a tentative yes for now, only because... Mm-hmm. I don't know. We'll see what we're Yeah. Because right now we have three. Well, counting Dungeon Meshi, we have four. We have Dungeon Meshi, Konosuba, um, Rushoku Tensei, and Slime. Okay. So we have two choices. <sighs> Rich makes it easy because then you get to pick one and I get to pick one. Yeah. Yeah, so I get it. It's giving it. Wait, did you count my hero? I didn't count my hero. Fuck the, the maybes are Blue Archive, my yeah, hero. Yeah, yeah, okay, never mind. Don't say the rest of them, because I'm going to pick my hero. <laughs> and I'm going to pick Blue Archive. <laughs> yeah. So now the real question becomes, do we trade Dungeon Meshi for one of the other ones? Um, we have Salad Bowl, Ba Sama. Salad Bowl. Oh. That, we didn't put that as a yes. No, we put that as a maybe. Yeah. I'm saying the maybes now. But don't we have six now? We have six, yeah. I'm saying, do you want to keep Dungeon Meshi or do you want to trade it out for another one? But yeah, so why are you, why are you rattling off ones that we might have? Like, we're definitely not putting those anymore because we, we're too full. No, I'm saying, do you want to have Dungeon Meshi or do you want to trade it out for one of these six? Mm. Or one of these oh, wait, ones? did you count Dungeon Meshi in it already? I'm already counting Dungeon Meshi in it. Oh, girl, no. I, I, I want to keep it. <laughs> I want to keep to keep it. I know, I know. There's a bunch of things that are tempting. Then Meshi is so good. I know. Oh, some good shows. All right, fine. I'm gonna watch a bunch of these shows. I'm gonna yeah, I like a lot of these. I'm kind of excited to watch. Um. So that means for this season, we will be continuing Dungeon Meshi, and we'll be adding Blue Archive, Hero Academia, uh, Kono Suba, Mushoku Tensei. And slime, and that also means you guys will have one choice to pick. I, I gee, I wonder what it's gonna be. Mm-hmm. I actually do wonder because it, it may not be. Who knows? Um, but yeah. So if you want a chance to vote on that poll, make sure you're a patron or a channel member, and you stay on the lookout. It'll be up sometime this week, probably like Tuesday or Wednesday or something like that. 
Um, it'll be on the Discord as usual and on YouTube for paid members. Um, and I guess that's about it. Drew, do you have anything you'd like to add? Um, no, no. Uh, y'all have a good week. Uh, happy Easter once again. I hope you got some. I don't know, some candy in in, in your Easter egg. I don't know if that's like if I'm making that like a, you know, a phrase for something. But yeah, I said what I said. Well, let us know what shows you're watching this season as well. Oh shit, yeah, that part. Below. And we'll catch y'all next week when the new season starts. Until then, this has been Silver Neat and Drew. We do. We'll catch y'all later. Later. Bye.